Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, and lift off of the Delta II with Grail on a journey to the center of the moon. Chamber pressure rising in all six groundlet solid motors. Good chamber pressure on the main engine. Good chamber pressure on both burniers. Good chamber pressure on all six groundlet motors. 20 seconds into the flight. We have 29 seconds. Mark 29 seconds. Mach 1, vehicle now going transonic. 35 seconds in. 38 seconds in, max Q, maximum dynamic pressure for the vehicle. Coming up on the 45 second mark. Mark, 45 seconds in, altitude 3.4 nautical miles, downrange distance 13.4 nautical miles, velocity 1742 miles per hour. Coming up on the one minute mark. Mark, one minute into the flight. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Main engine start, two, one, zero, and liftoff of the Delta II rocket with Phoenix, a distant science outpost seeking clues of the evolution at the polar region of Mars. The vehicle is responding. All the chamber pressure looking good also. Past our peak chamber pressure in the solid motors, and we're seeing the normal levels of disturbances as we go approach Mach 1. Correction, we're past Mach 1. We're supersonic. Solid motors beginning to taper off. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Engine start. One, zero, and liftoff of the Delta rocket carrying GLAST, a gamma ray telescope searching for unseen physics in the stars of the galaxies. seconds into the flight, now in the area of maximum dynamic pressure, max Q. Minus 15 seconds. 13 seconds. Green board. T minus 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Engine, engine start. 1, 0. And liftoff of the Delta II rocket with Kepler on a search for planets in some way like our own. Burnier engine chamber pressures are building. Groundlet solid motors are building in chamber pressure. Increasing at this time. Pressure's looking good. One seconds into the flight. Recovering from the initial launch transients. Passing 34 seconds. Mach 1, vehicle's now going supersonic. Motor uh, chamber pressure is uh, beginning to trail off as we're passing 45 seconds. Engine uh, chamber pressure, good steady state value. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, green board, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
one engine start and liftoff of the Delta II rocket carrying the Spirit from Earth to planet Mars. Our load relief kick rate is in, vehicles responding. Vehicles recovering very nicely from the liftoff transients. T plus 20 seconds. Normal for this phase of the flight. We're approaching Mach 1. And there we go. We've we've exceeded the supersonic uh, speed and the engine positions look good. The board video system working perfectly, sending back an uh, immaculate image. We're now passing an altitude of uh, four nautical miles with a downrange distance 15 nautical miles and a velocity of just coming up on 2,000 miles per hour. Passing T plus 60 seconds, our solid motors are, have burned out. Look like a nice symmetrical burn there on all six ground start motors. We've jettisoned all six solids and we've ignited the other three. Terminal phase, 15 seconds. Lock stopping now, underway. Green board, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Main engine start, 2, one and zero and lift off of Messenger on NASA's mission to Mercury, a planetary enigma in our inner solar system. Pitch program is in, roll program is in. Control rates all look normal. Steering looks good. Now going through the sound barrier. Now going through the period of dyna maximum dynamic pressure. Acquisition now at Jupiter Inlet. Green status board. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, main engine start, one, zero, and lift off of the Delta II rocket with Dawn, using ion propulsion to reach the catalysts of our solar system. The kick rate came in on time. T plus 25 seconds. The vehicle has worked its way nicely out of the transients of liftoff. Coming up on Mach's correction, uh, Mach 1, we've exceeded the speed of sound and coming up on Max Q. Vehicle is now 3 miles altitude, downrange distance 12 miles with a velocity of over 1600 miles per hour. Manager Mark Levine. Both burners in the main engine chamber pressure still looking good. T minus 15. T minus 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition and liftoff of a Delta II rocket and Wise. Searching for stars and galaxies never seen before. Good chamber pressure in both verniers and good chamber pressure in all three solids. In 25 seconds, mark 25 seconds into the flight. Bring nicely from the original uh, main engine uh, pitch and yaw transients. Coming up 36 seconds, mark 36 seconds, vehicle now at Mach 1. Still looking good. 45 seconds in. Pressure beginning to decline on our solids. 50 seconds in, max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. 15 seconds. Top go, water go. 10, 9, 8, Seven, igniters armed, green board, five, four, three, two, one, main engine start.
and liftoff of the Delta II rocket with the MAP spacecraft, exploring the past and future of our universe. Guidance system has started. Pitch program is in. Roll program is in. Initially, a smooth flight being reported. Solid motors are now at maximum thrust. T plus 30 seconds. Flight looking good. We've just gone through the sound barrier. Normal, normal vibrations. First stage control looks good. Vehicle on course. Through the transonic region now, standing by for solid rocket booster burnout. And solid motor jettison. We have all four solid motors have jettisoned. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition and liftoff of a Delta II rocket carrying Themis, NASA's revolutionary journey to study the Northern Lights. Everything continues to look good with the Delta II rocket and Themis payload on board. Nine solid rocket strap-on boosters are burning fine. Then the spacecraft is on its way to its intended target. All solid motors have reached their cheap, uh, peak chamber pressure and now beginning to taper off as expected. T plus 48 seconds, we've passed max Q. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We have ignition and liftoff of a Delta II rocket carrying deep impact. NASA's journey to unlock the mystery of the solar system's origin. up on T plus 36 seconds, we are now supersonic. People now passing an altitude of three miles, downrange distance 13 miles, and coming up on 2,000 miles an hour. First stage performance still looking Eight. good, and we have exceeded max Q. All ground start motors have tapered off, and we have reached burnout. And the air starts have ignited, and all six ground start motors have jettisoned. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition, and we have liftoff of NASA's Mars Climate Orbiter as we continue to explore the mysteries of the Red Planet. View from the second stage of the Boeing Delta II vehicle as we continue to rise 20 seconds after liftoff. Everything continues to go well. Everything continues to look good as the Delta vehicle climbs away from the Earth with the Mars Climate Orbiter payload on board. Beginning their slow decline. Again, real-time telemetry details are being called out by Eric Anderson from the telemetry lab. We have passed through Mach 1 coming up on max Q. We see our normal attitude disturbances, guidance controlling nicely. Main engine, both burn years continue to burn well. We expect to see these boosters burn out and jettison at about 64 seconds after launch, coming Motor up in about 10 on all seconds. Four solids beginning to tail off now. And we have burnout on all solids. 
Solids are tailing off at this time, and we have jettison of the solids. Seven, six, three, four, five, four, three, and engine start one, one engine zero, and the off of the Delta rocket with Mars Pathfinder, and the vehicle has two of the tower.